Hi folks, I'm Alan Watt. We're cutting through the Matrix. And we have Drew from New York on the line. Are you there, Drew? Hi, Alan. How are you? Good. Um, on your comment earlier about tattooing, how it's become this brainwashing phenomenon, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's everywhere now. It's on TV. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I, I knew immediately it's coming from the top. I mean, yep. people don't do this, all, you know, deface their bodies on their own. <laughs> yes. And um, I saw, I don't know if you saw it, but um, last week there was a story in uh, one of the British newspapers about this vaccination that they were doing that potentially was going to leave a tattoo. Yes. And uh, the human I couldn't virus. help it. Right. I couldn't help but feel like this whole tattooing phenomenon is setting people up for something. Um, yeah. You know, clearly there are echoes from World War II and that kind of thing, but I'm wondering what is the tattooing really about? There are two things they can do with a tattoo. Now, they claim, of course, that the more tissue they, they break or disturb or destroy, the, the better the take or hold of the vaccine that they put in. In other words, um, the greater tissue damage they do, the, the better the, the, the stuff takes. However, uh, after reading about all how, how they can actually draw uh, circuits uh, in on skin, you can draw a circuit, you know, on a skin, or they could stamp it on a skin as well, an actual functioning circuit. Uh, that gives me pause to think. So, what do you think the purpose of this um, this tattooing fad is? Oh, the purpose with the tattoo is to get them used to having this uh, supposedly um, uh, new inoculation technique. It's not new at all. I mean, they used it with the old small po- uh, smallpox, where they scratch the skin. Um, but I think it's probably more nefarious just to get them used to it. They might even give them very trendy ID prints, circuit boards printed on their skin, very, very trendy ones. If you're low class, you'll get the bronze. If, you, if you're wealthy, you get the silver. If you're really wealthy, you get the gold or the platinum. Let me, they'll give it snob appeal. But it'll actually be your circuit board. And they ha- already have weapons they can train on anyone. With your ID, they could train it on you and your circuit, and you'll feel extreme pain somewhere in your body. Right. I don't know if you saw it. There, there was a, there was a, uh, a chip that they showed uh, on, one, on one story I saw that, Imprinted on the chip was the emblem of NATO. Yeah, uh-huh. and the emblem of NATO, if you look at it very carefully, is just a sky swastika. Uh, it's, it's a rather uh, uh, more modern version of the same thing. The first one is one I mentioned already. Are you ready for electronic skin tattoos? One team, or team of researchers has created an extremely thin, extremely flexible smart skin that will open up a whole new world of possibilities. Wearing skin-mounted electronics might seem like a great deal to the, high, the, the, the tech geeks, but it also could create a whole lot of new problems. The following is uh, here, here an article on a US, a UK paper, so the link here, described this new breakthrough. The epidermal electronic system relies on a highly flexible electrical circuit composed of snake-like conducting channels that can bend and stretch without affecting performance. The circuit is about the size of a postage stamp, is thinner than a human hair and sticks to the skin by natural electrostatic forces rather than glue. Yet yeah, this type of technology would be a great way to connect wirelessly to the internet and it would be helpful for doctors that need to monitor their patients. But the potential for abuse is also there. As long as they make them nice, nice tattoo shapes, you know, and colors and stuff, they'll take them. That's what they were trained for, putting things through their noses and that. Once this type of technology becomes widespread, governments will be able to monitor the location and activities of their citizens like never before. In addition, this type of technology could one day become mandated by governments. Well, it will be. For example, some, uh, someday you may re- be required to have an electronic skin tattoo in order to prove your identity or participate in commerce. And it's not too far of a stretch to imagine that skin-mounted electronics could be used to control large populations. Just remember, if you connect yourself uh, physically to the Internet, that means the Internet is connected to you, who's programming you, right? So according to a shocking document obtained by Oath Keepers, the FBI is now instructing store owners to report many new forms of suspicious activity to them. According to the document, and links here for it too, suspicious activity now includes paying with cash. Or missing a hand or fingers. Maybe you've blown yourself up practicing. You know. Strange odors. I guess that's chemicals. Making extreme religious statements. I guess it depends what country you're in. Uh, radical theology. 
purchasing weatherproofed ammunition or match containers. That's what you use for camping for your matches. Or purchasing meals ready to eat. Maybe you're really hungry. <laughs> Another one too is interesting. We all, everybody got poo-pooed about the, oh my, the luciferase, you know, the, the stuff that they're going to inject into you. It'll be like a tattoo, you know, see under a certain kind of light you've had your vaccination, like a record. And everybody was laughed. And MIT was working on it, mind you. And they published articles from MIT. That the newspapers about. It doesn't matter if you read real, real articles, eh? It really doesn't matter. It depends if they can see it or you can see it. That's how things are now in the new, the new, the new um, godly truth movement. The gods are up there. We can't see who they are anymore. Yeah. Anyway, British scientists develop are developing the world's first COVID nineteen vaccine smart patch, and it looks like some. And it looks got a little pyramids on it. <laughs> I guess are the pricks that you, you, will stick to the skin, or this pierce the skin, you see. And I bet you anything, and it also it says they can tell it's got a record, but I don't know, it doesn't say why they, they'll know it's a record of your vaccination. It'll keep a record of your, this thing will keep a record of your vac, unless that's the thing we're talking about here. So it uses micro needles to both administer the coronavirus vaccine and monitor its efficacy for the patient by tracking the body's immune response. It's going to track it in real, what, in real time. How, was it, how does it communicate it? Yeah? It's at Swansea's Impact Research Centre. And they're hoping to carry out the human clinical studies in partnership with Imperial College London. Well, it's naturally, it's also the same College London. With the aim of making the device commercially available within three years. It uses polycarbonate or silicon millimetre long microneedles. The smart, the smart patch can penetrate the skin to administer a vaccine, can be held in place with a strap or tape for up to 24 hours, during which time it simultaneously measures a patient's inflammatory response to the vaccination. So it's actually given you, uh, the protein, you see, this is it too, it doesn't say here, but it must be using the protein, like the, vac- this, like the jab gives you, this jab gives you, it's very similar. It'll give you a bit of the protein f- from this coronavirus, supposedly. That's why folk were testing positive after they were getting it, you know. That you, you, a lot of folk now, who in the PCR test, will toss, test positive for the virus uh, after they get the jab. And they might keep every so often testing positive, because now it's, your body's manufacturing it. That's other articles too, from official sources, by the way, the, 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 the authorized sources. So in this one here too, it must be doing the same thing. Since it says here it's going to monitor your, your inflammatory response to the vaccination by monitoring biomarkers in the skin. Once it's been administered, devices scanned to produce a data reading that can provide an understanding about the efficacy of the vaccine and the body's response. It was it's involved in the, the projects are involved by the, the Welsh government and the European funding as part of the global response to overcome global <laughs> pandemic. Uh, and they're hoping they could also be used to treat other diseases, the BBC reports. Their link to the BBC is there as well. And basically what they'll say, what they're saying is that um, as the body, if the body produces the immunoglobulins, that's, the, that's basically the antibodies, right, uh, to it, it says if they can detect that, the, which are good markers it shows that they could sh- show the efficacy of the vaccination. But none of these things are testing the real wild virus, as I like to call it, are they? And they skipped all the trials, and even when the volunteers, they didn't want to bad reactions because when you hit a real coronavirus in the wild, that's not out of a lab or whatever, or even if it's out of a lab, you can have the cytokine storm response. Yeah? Massive response, and that's why they didn't. I think really, why wouldn't they have given it to the volunteers rather than test it on the whole population? And then, of course, once a wild virus comes along, if if too many folk had do get bad responses when the real viruses come along, they can cover their tracks and say it's a different kind of virus or something or different strain. This is how I see it. This thing developing. It's my opinion. This is my personal opinion, what I can see so far. Because to, to skip the, the, the human challenge trial tests, 
is not completing the tests. That's how you know if something is, is, is more safe. You know, you never guarantee any vaccination is completely safe. But it, it gives you a, a higher safety factor if people don't overreact. If your body immune, body's immune system after getting a shot doesn't overreact when it meets a, a wild virus, a similar type in the wild, as they call it. Hmm. Amazing, eh? Ah, amazing times we're in, indeed.